hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to create what a geo database you know and um, it has some similarities with a shapefile it's a database designed to store query and then manage them um, geographic information right good including the data that has the spatial data and the attributes now um there are different types of um geo database now we have the file geo database and then the personal geo database right good but uh, most times it is um, preferred or maybe it is advised rather to use what the file um, geo database so um we come up to catalog so we have done the folder connection we have create geo database right good so now that's the name of the folder so for us to start we just right click and then we go to new and then we click on what file geo database remember we told you we have the file geo database and we have the personal geo database right good so we click on them um, file geo database now we have what the new file geo database we can just um, double click on it to edit the name so let me call this um solving solutions that's ss right good and then i hit enter so it has been created now the next thing is that we want to add some feature classes to it so we right click we go to what new and then we select what the feature data set now you can see we have a um, feature class and then we also have what a feature data set now the feature class sorry the feature data set allows you to group feature classes together within what a geo database similar feature classes together within a geo database it um it's like a container to organize and manage what data set that um share the same special um, reference system right good so when we click on this um, um feature class to create the new feature data set rather we are now creating what a conglomerate so let's just call it um data which uh, might be different for you if you want to create something productive then the crs we want to use let's use um, a projected crs so depending on what you are also working on you can decide to what use the crs that what that best fits your project right good so we have wg 34 northern hemisphere and then we look at um, zone 32 right good we just click on next and then we finish right now we have created what the feature data set so let's still come down to this plus and then we have all the data now when we right click and then we go to the options we are now going to come down to new and then we select what feature class at this point we cannot create what that um, feature data set again because we have created that one container that will now contain all the feature classes that we want to create so we click on what feature class so the first um, feature class you know trying to use the points line and then polygons for today's tutorials so let's say points points can mean any other maybe points feature that um, we are going to have right good so let's give it an alias of what um points feature right good so let's say points feature then the type the type of feature stored in this feature class are actually what point features right good so these um, geometry options let's leave them the way they are default and then now under the um how the attributes table will be populated we have the default object id and then the shape so we can give another attribute called what names right good so depending on what you would want to populate it with and then data type will definitely be what text right good so if you have any other um, field name that you want to introduce you can actually introduce them here and then also define the data type right then you click on finish so we have actually created what the feature data set and then we have created one word one feature class into it right good so before we proceed we are going to do similar thing still come down to data come down to new feature class we have points right good so we can do for lines now
so now under the name i think the other time i didn't um, show it you know you can um, increase the length maybe depending on the names that you want to maybe type if they are very long you can increase the length maybe from that default 50 to something longer than 50 right good so we click on finish so we have also created what a line and um, feature class into what that um, feature data set right good then finally let's um, look at um, still come down to data we go to new feature class and then let's look at them um, polygons right good so we have actually created what a geodatabase which is what ss and inside the geodatabase we have created what a feature data set which is now like an umbrella or a container that contains our different feature classes right good so we have for points we have for lines and we have for polygons so now one other advantage of um creating a geodatabase is that it allows you to it allows you to store large data sets and then manage what the um, data relationship and then it's a single file that um, contains the entire data set making it easier for you to manage right good and then it's more complex it, um, it supports more complex data relationships and behavior so we are trying to look at it alongside the should i call it conventional shape file the shape file that we basically just you know get for points lines and polygons the judita base actually offers you more in terms of the structure the complexity the file handling data size and rest of that right good so that's why you know you can decide to maybe check out to use what your geodata base instead of maybe the complex the conventional um shape files right so as we proceed we are going to now um add some features into those um, feature classes that we have created remember we have one for points lines and polygons yours might go more than this but we are using this for demonstration on today's tutorial we are going to load the base map um that's um add base map let's say imagery with labels and then add good so um we have loaded the base map and then we just um zoom to a particular location so we can just um use um some some of the features here to populate what our feature class that um, we have created so we just select them points we come down to editor we start editing right good then we come down to create features right then we select our points we are actually using points right good as a construction tool so you know point is just a particular point so you can just double click however if you also want to populate the attributes that um, we have created okay i have clicked twice that's why our object id is two now so under the name let's say this should be maybe a school depending on what you want to use still come down to somewhere else we give it another name maybe tree so when we are done we just come up to editor save the edits and then we stop the editing so if we open our attributes table we are going to see what the that's the first one that was created that was not named we are going to see the fields that we have created on our attributes table right good the name if maybe if you have more fields to add you would have actually added it earlier right good or you can still proceed by doing that so let's just do that for lines I won't digitize all of the roads we can just save the edits and you know stop editing so basically if you put out the base map you are going to see what those features that um, you have actually the feature classes that you have actually what created right good so we have shown you how to create what a judita base we have shown you uh, we have told you what a judita base is you can check the description section of this video for for some notes that um, we have actually dropped there and then we are also updating it on our website which you would see on the site very soon right good we have shown you how to create what the 
the feature data set we have shown you how to create the different feature classes and then we have also shown you how to populate those um, feature classes based on the attribute right good so you we have used them points lines and polygons you might um, as well maybe when you are creating yours add them um, more um features to add more feature classes to your, your database depending on what the the information you want to store and then analyze right good so you can have annotation raster data tables relationship classes and rest of that alongside the points lines and then polygons that then we have created on today's tutorial and also we have told you the similarities um by comparing it to what a shape file and the differences and then would say if you are going for um a larger data set and then maybe if you're trying to do and um, work with um, a complex the more complex data it is preferred to go with what a your database right good and we've also told you that we have the personal and the file your database which the file and um, your database is um, preferable or it's more preferable yeah it's more preferable to the personal your database so thanks for coming to class we hope to see you on the next one ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye